Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Samsung Smart TV from a regular remote control to the Bluetooth Smart Remote Control. It actually does have infrared LED, but it's only used for connecting to your Smart TV. This is original Samsung remote control, which costs about 50 bucks. You can also buy an original one for about 20 bucks. All the links in the description box below the video. This remote is very easy to use and it fits perfectly in your hand. It has nice soft touch buttons. You can move these buttons up and down to adjust volume and change the channel. If you press the volume button, it will mute the sound. And to see the channel guide, simply press the channel button. The remote operates on two AA batteries. Let's put them in and see what happens. So, what you need to do next is turn on your TV, and if your TV supports smart remote control, it will try to pair up automatically, but you can also do it manually. Point the remote at your TV, then press and hold the return and play pause button simultaneously for about 5 seconds, and wait for pairing to finish. If you see a message saying not available, it might be because your TV came with the regular remote control, just like in my case, and Samsung simply doesn't want us to use advanced features on cheap TV models, but we can easily fix it in the service menu. Ok, so turn off your TV. Next you need to press the following sequence of buttons. Info, Settings, Mute, and finally turn on your TV. We use these 6 buttons to navigate through the menu. I want to warn you that you can easily damage your TV in here, so don't modify any settings and its values unless you know what you're doing, ok? So let's get into the option menu, go to MRT option, and here we need to enable a few features. First of all, make sure that the Bluetooth support is set to ON. Next turn on voice recognition. This feature may not be supported depending on the model or region. Of course we can change the model and region, but I don't recommend playing with it. And finally we need to set Samsung Smart Control option to ON. Turn off your TV so that the new settings can take effect, and turn on again. Now press and hold the return and play pause button simultaneously for about 5 seconds. As you can see, my TV is trying to connect to the remote control. Pairing complete, and it even shows the battery level. Like I said before, this is Bluetooth remote control, so there's no need to point it at your TV, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see, all features work flawlessly except the voice recognition. Technically, it's possible to activate voice control for some models, but unfortunately, there is no universal solution for all TV models. Maybe I'll cover it in detail in a separate video. Thank you for watching.